So the players, they've been busy, but they are not the only ones. And with that in mind, we bring in Michael Crow, who has been busy tracking down the University of Washington band. Yeah, and they arrived here yesterday and spent today preparing for the game. They're especially glad to be here after many of them had to go to the hospital after their bus flipped a few weeks ago on their way to the Apple Cup. But the good news, all but one of those band members made it safely to Pasadena. That last member is at home still recovering. They spent today at a nearby community college in Glendale rehearsing their performance for the Rose Bowl and Rose Parade. Now some do have to sit out because of their injuries, but the director says it's important to have everybody here together. As I opened up rehearsal last night, that was our first time back together as a full band. Now we've got some students that are still recovering that aren't able to fully perform, but what's really special about being down here is that, that we've got everybody, that we got the band family back together again. And the band today got their picture taken together in front of the stadium before heading to perform at Band Fest this afternoon. They wrapped up that day of high school band performances with that college band. And they will play at Disneyland tomorrow with OSU. And here's a fun fact, McDavid, the director there, he actually performed in the Rose Parade before back when he went to Ohio State. I asked him if he's a house divided in himself. He said not really. He's just glad to be here. Live in Pasadena, Michael Crow, King 5 News.